So this politician ruins his career by hooking up with a hook and then makes the most incredible comeback ever. Gerald gets into politics at 26 years old and runs for Congress. And contrary to this guy, Gerald loses the election. Oh, but Gerald is not going to give up that yet. So a year later, he tries again and runs for city council. And this time, he wins. <laughs> but then, Gerald screws it all up. One night, he decides to visit a health club, if you know what I mean. He pays for the health club, and when he does, for some reason, he pays with a personal check. And eventually, when the health club gets busted by the police, don't know why, they find the checks with Gerald's name right on them. A few years later, despite his scandal, he's running for city council again. And for everyone's surprise, he gets elected <laughs> again. And shortly after that, he gets chosen by the city council to be the mayor of Cincinnati. Four years later, he ran for governor of Ohio. But when it's all said and done, unfortunately for Gerald, given his past, Ohio doesn't seem to be that open, that ready for him. So he loses that election. I don't see any problem, but anyway. But our boy Gerald is not going to go down like this. So while he's trying to figure things out, Gerald gets a job as a local news anchor. And it turns out he's actually pretty good at it. He's good on TV. He's good at speaking. He's good around with people. He's so good, in fact, that the network ends up giving him his own TV show called The Jerry Springer Show. Initially, they started out trying to help people. But then, as time went on, the news angle started to fade away in favor of the whole drama with the game. So the Jerry Springer show evolved into this massive hit and becoming what hundreds of millions of people know it for today. And it runs for a total of 27 seasons. And Gerald becomes a well-known household icon he is today. So in the end, he ended up working out for him. He ended up banking big. What did I tell you? Good for him.